off <laughs> this week's weekly vlog with me and G trying to make some ginger and turmeric shots. Oh, I was gonna put some lemon juice in this. I might do that quickly. G found like a stick of turmeric <laughs> in the shop the other day. And so we just made like a turmeric espresso ginger shot, which I couldn't really taste the ginger or turmeric. Could you in yours, G? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I've gone one step further and made a turmeric shot. It looks like this, but the only problem with turmeric is stains everything and everywhere. So this is what it looks like. It's quite thick because I didn't have a juicer. I didn't use my juicer. Just use a blender. And here are our shots. I'm just going to add a little squirt of lemon juice in there. Oh, it's like the consistency is soup. Oh. Pew. Look at that. Down in one. Yeah, down in one. One, two, three. It's all right there. Hmm. Hi. Could be a bit more sour, I reckon. I'm worried this is going to stain my teeth. That's actually really nice. So, we used like a bit of turmeric that size, a bit of ginger that <coughs> size, blended it in my Nutribullet until it was like quite finely choppy. And then added an orange, some grated some apple in, added some boiling water. And then into these shot glasses, I just added a splash of apple juice and a squirt of lemon. And yeah, it's very nice. So we've got this now for the week. Have a little shot every now and again. I am getting ready to go out to an event with Kiehl's for the launch of one of their new products. I'm not sure what the product is yet, but it's um, at a like a gym and we're having a boxing class. I think we're going to a place called Jab London, which is in Mayfair or Marlebone. I always get the two confused. I think actually they're the same place. I've never done boxing before and I've, it's like something I've always, always wanted to try. So I said, Yes, and I'm just getting ready now. I'm wearing my Charlie Cohen and Reebok sneaks, and I've got some Gymshark gym clothes on as well, which make me feel pretty great. And yeah, I'll vlog, show you what the new product is. Very, very excited about this, even though it's quite early in the morning. An intense workout but I freaking loved it it was really fun really fast paced we did like 20 minutes boxing on like these boxing bags and then 20 minutes like cardio strength with dumbbells on the floor oh my god it was intense I was actually sweating after it which is quite rare for me because I don't sweat very easily TMI I tried to film some of it but it was very dark in there it's just a lot of like in like intense music and like an instructor telling you what to do and shouting quite a lot but yeah the energy was great and I would definitely do boxing again would really recommend it it was really intense but I don't feel like dying I didn't feel like death afterwards and then they had some of their skincare kind of experts with this little device which reads your skin barrier and your hydration levels and my skin barrier is very good which means that my skin is nice and protected but my hydration levels are shocking i need to drink way more water and i need to get way more like moisturizing hydrating products into my skincare regime so this event was for Kiehl's new skin barrier moisturizer which I have here I can show you it's their ultra facial advanced repair barrier cream and it's a daily balm to cream formula to instantly relieve an intensively repair skin's moisture barrier which oh my god i am in desperate need of right now it's got clodial oatmeal and beta glucan so i am going to apply that on my skin tonight and i can't wait for it because it's so dry at the moment they also gave me a little top up of some of my favorite products from the ultra facial range including my favorite ever spf for my face 
it's the Kills Ultralight Daily UV Defense SPF 50. I'm going to be packing this straight away for our honeymoon. I absolutely love this. It doesn't break me out. It's really gentle on my skin, but it has really good SPF. So I'm very happy about that. Ultra Facial Cream. I've actually got one of these open in my office when I do where I do my makeup. I also picked up, they had some really beautiful food there, so I picked up a little muffin and some protein balls. Got a lot of work to do. We are both taking to tomorrow off work to go and take Maurice up to his grandparents' house in Yorkshire whilst we're away on our honeymoon. Literally, well, we're going away so soon now, so um, there won't be a weekly vlog next week, but there will be one the week after perhaps. I'm really looking forward to some downtime. Oh, I've never really been on a holiday before where it's just chill. Like I've never been on a beach holiday where you can just chill, snorkel, read books. Um, so I'm really excited and it's going to be the longest holiday I've had in a really long time. Definitely since I've been doing this job anyway. So Oh, I'm so excited. I can tell you in this vlog some of the books that I'm taking with me to read. I've bought some new ones, spe especially we're going to take some of our favourite two-player games. So I can show you those. Oh my god, the sun's just come out. Oh, how beautiful. There's actually, I need to shoot some pyjamas, so I'm going to do that whilst the sun's out very quickly. Um, next, sent some... What of you? Next, sent some Valentine's Day PJs. They're so beautiful, so I'm gonna shoot this now. These are, sorry, I've got cat hair <laughs> all over my face because I've been cuddling Maurice. Um, these are the next pajamas. They're like really soft, silky fabric, pink and red hearts, which is kind of like a color clash, which I love. Um, and it's like a shirt and then trousers with pockets. Got loads of stuff hanging up here to steam. For the honeymoon but yeah I love 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 these they're really soft and silky and yeah just lovely I literally can't get over how anyone could be so cute he's just the cutest thing in the world <laughs> yesterday I made turmeric ginger shot might as well just finish it off mightn't we reckon Oh, it's like, it's thick like a soup. That's so gross. Whoa, look at that. Oh, you're doing it in one. That's gross. That's it, it's just meant to be good for you. Wow, that's even oh, stronger today. I was feeling a bit run down yesterday. I don't anymore. I think that's because of this. High five. It was G's mum's birthday last weekend and I am making her a birthday caponata. A caponata is a dish that they taught me when we first started dating. It's like a vegan aubergine Italian dish. Like a little side dish, it's like cold aubergine. It's so delicious and I'm obsessed with it. We always make it at home around Christmas and we keep saying we're gonna make them one but we never do because it's a pain in the ass to make. It has it like just takes ages, <laughs> but I'm making her one to take down tomorrow. We're going to take Maurice there tomorrow. So I thought I'd make some up for her and Caponata is best to eat in the day after. So kind of good timing. So I've got capers, pine nuts, onion, celery, olives, onion. Did I say that already? <laughs> Garlic and tomato puree. And I've like browned off loads of aubergine, which is just here. And then I'm making like a caramel, caramelised um, acidic binder, <laughs> which sounds so weird. So I'm just melting some sugar and then when it's all melted and caramelised, I'm going to add in some white wine vinegar and it like fizzes and spits, but it's, so, it's like a nice <laughs> sweet and sour kind of sauce, which makes this dish just so delicious. It's starting to caramelise now. You're gonna have to film me. You just got my snorkel out. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's happening. So I'm back. And you have to keep stirring it until all the sugar is dissolved. Caramelized syrup. Not too, we don't want it to break though, so fold. 
That's how they talk about it. Fold, Fold it. it in. Fold it all in. Food porn. Just finished cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a vegetable chips. You. No, <laughs> vegetables, chips, and a Beyond Meat burger, which we didn't defrost beforehand and cook. Um, it just looks a little bit scorched, but it's gonna be delicious. We also run out of big plates, so I've got a tiny plate, <laughs> the size of almost my hand. She's got a nice big one there. Look. Bon appetit! I'm just making myself a salted caramel green tea. And if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. <laughs> Getting emotional about like Maurice not being here when we um, take him. I'm just gonna miss him, all right? I'm just worried something bad's gonna happen, but he'll be fine. He'll be in good hands when we're away. I'm gonna have a lint ball because I deserve one. All this lint that I got for Christmas, that just sitting here I'm gonna have one of these as well mm. there's a documentary on now tv at the moment it's not on for very long I don't think but it's on at the moment and it's about punch drunk about their immersive theatre company so I'm quite excited to watch it we're gonna give it a go now we are getting ready to drive to Yorkshire to drop off little Maurice to his grandparents and um, my hair is so greasy and I don't want to wash it until tomorrow so I'm going to use this new dry shampoo that I've got and I really really like it it's the Perk Up Plus by Amica extended clean dry shampoo it smells so good and it makes my hair look really fresh Put it in, wait like 30 seconds and then massage. And then you're all set to go. I've just driven the first leg. I was stopped at a service station. Can you hear Maurice meowing? Stopped at a service station near Peterborough. I'm gonna go for a wee. We have to take it turns when we've got Maurice because because oh. <laughs> we don't want to leave him in the car by himself. But um yeah, I think we've got like two Two and a half hours left. Hi! When we parked up, we let him roam around the car. Here he is. Are you a good boy? Are you scared? I'm sorry. Come on, come up. It is Sunday, and I've got a work job today with a company which is pretty freaking cool. I don't know many people that have worked with this company, but I'm making them some content for their Instagram and TikTok. Off to Greenwich today to film that. I'm really excited. I wonder if you'll be able to guess who I'm working with. Probably not, maybe. We're also gonna meet our friend Mo and he's gonna come for a little walk around with us too. So it should be a nice, productive Sunday morning. Does this bag go with my outfit or black? And then when we get back tonight, I really need to make a start on packing for the honeymoon because I'm just worried that if I leave it too late, I'll get really stressed and I don't want that. Also, it's so weird being in the house without Maurice. We left him up with his grandparents in Yorkshire yesterday and the house just feels so sad and empty. <laughs> Today I feel really, do you feel any different G? Or are you feeling all right? Definitely misses the presents. Yeah. But I'm all right. I'm not. You're not as sad as I am. No. I wonder if it will be sunny today. Do I need to take my sunglasses? Probably not. Just to look cool, yeah. Oh yeah, just to look cool. Just to look cool. cool, babe. Also need to do hair. Bag. This bag, I love it. It's the Uniqlo. The viral one that fits so much in, but... Oh my god, it gets so fluffy. Just show you what I'm wearing quickly. So, underneath my coat I've got my, oh here he is, <laughs> I've got my thermal jacket from Uniqlo because it means I can stay warm but wear a nice outfit underneath. So I'm wearing, oh, also Uniqlo trousers. These are also thermal, oh my god, living my best life today. And then I've got this cute long-sleeved white wraparound top. I'm wondering if I need to take my beanie i'm just i'm gonna just in case we're just driving to greenwich now and i wasn't going to mention this but i thought i would just in case any of you guys do the same thing but basically three years ago g and i um what is it called a pcp 
we got a PCP which is basically where you get a car and you pay you pay like a fixed price every month for three years and then at the end of the three years you choose whether you want to like pay off the rest of the car and keep it and it be yours or like exchange it and swap it in for another car so we did that at the start of 2020 and then lockdown happened so we didn't even really get like to use our car as much as we wanted so the mileage was still quite low and for ease of life we thought we'd just pay it off and keep it until we started kind of looking into it a little bit more and we realized that because the mileage was so low and because it was in such good condition we could literally just swap it for a newer car um for the same monthly fee so we're actually saving ourselves we would have had to pay five thousand pounds for our old car and with our honeymoon coming up that wasn't really like it wasn't ideal so instead we've swapped it for a new car we've got the same monthly fee um, and then yeah we've got another three years to decide if we want to keep or swap it again so if you guys are interested in yeah getting needing a car I would really recommend checking out PCP I think it's a really good idea and we, we don't pay that much for it £150 a month if you're using it to go to work then yeah, for, for, for a car that is 20, almost 20,000 pounds. So, we're in our new car. We haven't named them yet, but it's so nice. This is the interior. Look at that, cream, cream and blue. It's so, so, so nice. So we've stayed with a Fiat, it's a Fiat 500. And yeah, we're obsessed. Drives like a dream. So yeah, I'm really happy that it's worked out this way. We did have to shop around to get some quotes and like put some different car what are they called car agents car de de dealers. dealers up against each other to try and get a good deal but i'm glad it happened in the end because yeah this is really nice so we've had a little walk around the cutty suck and the royal navy college and now we've walked up to the greenwich Cons uh, royal conservatory which is where they basically tell the time <laughs> for the world <laughs> greenwich meantime I don't really understand it, but the view here is amazing. Behind this tree. <laughs> Look at that. Old and new London. Back in Greenwich Market. It's a bit busier now. We've got so many lovely little bits. Come to the Greenwich Market street food section and we're getting some wraps. Home now, just thought I'd show you my outfit properly. So yeah, I've got these Uniqlo trousers on. I had them taken up in store for free. And then this cute little long sleeve crop wrap top as well, which I'm definitely gonna take on our honeymoon to wear just lounging around with some little like spoon trunks or a bikini underneath. I have been deep into trying to sort <laughs> what I'm gonna be taking on our honeymoon. It is gonna take me so long. I've already been at it for two hours and it's just a mess. I'm really worried about our baggage going missing because we've got a couple of connecting flights. So I bought this Apple AirTag thing so I can track my suitcase which I think is gonna come in ha very handy. And yeah, my, my hand luggage so far is literally just cameras. <laughs> I wanna make some re um, content on reviewing cameras. So I've just got loads of film and cameras. This isn't even all of it yet. I've just remembered something else I wanna take as well. <laughs> it's so stressful. I don't, just don't wanna forget anything. I thought I'd quickly run you through some books that I am wanting to read soon. I'm gonna be taking a couple of these away with us and the rest I'm hoping to read at some point this year. I saw someone talking about this on Instagram the other day and so I purchased it. It's called Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. Apparently it is a really disturbing book and I love a disturbing book so I bought it immediately. I think I got this second hand from World of Books, one of my favourite book websites. It says mind blowing, twisted and wildly entertaining. How far would you go just to be yourself? I'm very excited about that. There's another really disturbing book that I purchased um, called Lapvona. I got it on my Kindle. I do just prefer reading on my, 
my Kindle, I have to admit. It's called Lapvona by Otessa Moshifigi. Oh, I can't, I can't pronounce that name. I'm so sorry to the author. A witty, vicious novel, deliriously quirky medieval tale. A motherless shepherd boy who finds himself the unlikely pivot in a power struggle that puts faith to a savage test. Apparently it's got a lot of trigger warnings to it, so it's probably not one I'm going to read on honeymoon. <laughs> it's not the most romantic type of book, but I'm, I am excited to get stuck into a couple of quite disturbing books shortly. I also bought the book that everyone and their mum has been talking about. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I haven't read any of this author's works before, but I know she's been going viral a lot online this year. But I think that does sound like a bit of a honeymoon one. It's a, a romantic rom-com, I think. I, I don't know anything about it really, apart from everyone's been talking about it. And apparently they're gonna be making a film and Blake Lively is the main character, is what I've seen. A couple of other books. My sister got me this last Christmas and I really wanna read it. It's called My Sister the Serial Killer. I think this is quite, a popular one and that might be a nice short one to kind of take away on a honeymoon because it's not too big big one that i would love to read but it's huge and i just know that i'm not going to carry that around and read it so i'm definitely going to get this on kindle this is g's version but it's jonathan strange and mr norrell by susanna clark susanna clark wrote one of my favorite ever books called piranesi so i am really excited to read another one of her books it's set in 1806 in england shortlisted for loads of awards i know this is a lot of people's favorite so i'm really excited to read that a book of dreams this is the book that inspired kate bush's song cloud busting cloud busting is the song mine and g's favorite kate bush song which i actually walked down the aisle to on our wedding day and so this is the inspiration behind it this book it's about the son of a psychoanalyst called wilhelm reich and this book is written by his son peter all about his dad and and this cloud machine that his dad made and it's quite short again and g's read it already and he really enjoyed it so I'm excited to read that. I really want to read Darren Brown's book, Happy. I want to read this book by Georgia Pritchett, My Mess is a Bit of a Life. It sounds like a very easy, funny, dark book. And I also want to read The Cows by Dorno Porter. This has won loads of awards. It's about three different women and their lives collide. I don't think they knew each other before. I don't really know anything about it, but I think my mum bought me this and I really want to read it. So yeah, I've got a lot of reading to do this year. Let me know if you've read any of them and what you think. I'd love to hear your reviews. But yeah, the ones that I'm going to take on honeymoon, probably these two, the Colleen Hoover one, which is on my Kindle. I'm currently finishing A Court of Silver Flames. I've got a couple of others on my Kindle that I'm looking forward to getting stuck into. So I think it's only these two that I'm going to be taking physically. Mm -hmm.